Amen. Okay then. Okay then. So, so our lesson, our lesson today will be on uh, on Christian liberty, and I just thought I would just I just thought about some right now. You know, sometimes, sometimes we think, sometimes we think other people really know what you're talking about, uh, um, especially when it comes to like simple things like verses and stuff like that. So I, so I thought I'd j just show you, because I have a lot of verses to, to cover today, okay? But the reason why I put them up there is just because there's so many that, that um, you know, maybe you could write them down for later or some, something like that. But sometimes we don't understand. Like if you read a Ruckman commentary or something like that, uh, you'll, see, you'll see it look like this. But sometimes you probably, I mean, sometimes we think that, that people know what it is, but maybe you don't. So just f for a real quick deal, um, uh, uh, always, always the first one is the book. Okay, and then, and then, you know, a lot of times we abbreviate them. Like, this is Galatians, that's Ephesians, you know, John. If it's something short like that, you can put the whole thing. And then, and then the next one after is the chapter. Okay, then, so when you, so, so you'll see the, you'll see the, the book, and then you'll see the, the chapter, and then, then you'll see the colon. Right after the colon is, is the, is the verse. So, so you got the, so you got the book, you got the chapter, and then you got the verse. If you see one, if you see one like this, where, okay, you got Romans chapter 14, ver verses one, and then you got a dash, and then there's another number, that's from, that's, 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 that's verses as well. That's, that's, that'll be verse one through verse nine. I don't know, I, you know, sometimes you think people would know certain things, but you know, when you're young in Christ, you know, there's a lot of things we, we learn. Some, some people are still trying to learn their books. You know what I mean? Sometimes we think, oh, you, you should know. No, they shouldn't. They're, they're, if they're baby in Christ, you know, what can you, you know, they need to learn these things. So, so that's what that is. And then this, this is, um, this is some of the, this is some of the uh, words that I'll be defining. I don't use a Greek or nothing like that. I, as you can tell by my vocabulary, I can barely speak English. So, so I can't, I, you know, I can't even go to Greek and all that. So I go to the, to, to the dictionary. And this is the, the best one for a King James Bible is the 1828. You get the 1828, you get those old English words that, that you, so you don't have to even run to the Greek. Just go to an old 1828 dictionary and you'll get the definitions of some of those uh, so-called archaic words that, that really aren't archaic. It's just, it's just you don't get them. So you just go find out. You know what I mean? If you look at some of these newer translations, they're just, they, you can't understand those either. I, 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 got a, I got a few studies on those, on the New King James and stuff like that. They got words in there that's like, what? I thought this was supposed to be easier to understand, but that's not really their motive. Their motive is just to change the word of God and, 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 and rob you from the truth. So, so that's basically what that is. So, so, so with that, we'll, we'll go through the study. And our, and, our, and, our, um, and our subject today will be Christian liberty. Okay, so if you could, just go to, go to Galatians 5. Galatians 5, and we'll start right there. Um, we, have, we, have a, we have a Zoom group where, where, we, um, where we get together, and, and, and we're going through a verse-by-verse verse on, on, on Galatians. But when, I, but when I got to this verse, I kind of stopped, stopped there because, because um, that word liberty, it, it, you know, if you read right past it, you, you, you will not get the gist of what this is. So, so I, so I kind of stopped and I, and, and, and kind of studied that word. So, so, um, so we'll start off in um, Galatians 5, verse 1. Okay, Galatians 5, verse 1. The Bible says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. So, 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 um, back, I, I guess, during, in, in Galatians, back in that time, they had, they had Judaizers, and they, they were coming in, and they were bringing in strange teachings, strange doctrines, okay, saying that you got to be circumcised, you have to follow the law, plus, you know, uh, uh, the law plus grace. And, and they were telling, and Paul was telling them, hey, you're, un I mean, Christ made you free. You don't need to do all that stuff anymore. You're free. You're, you're not under the law. You're under grace. So, 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 um, so that's, so that's, that's basically what that deal is. Now, now, um, liberty, uh, definition, freedom from restraint, 
in a general sense and applicable to the body or to the will or mind. The, the, body, the body is at liberty when it's not confined. The will or the mind is at liberty. Um, when, not checked, when not checked or controlled, Okay, a man enjoys liberty when, when no physical force operates or restrains his actions or violations. So, so basically, when, when you're at liberty, you're kind of free to do what you want. I, I, this was this was good. This was gonna hurt some of y'all, like some of y'all, like uh, if you're a Calvinist or, or if you're if you're if you're if you're if you're under the law, you know, Seven Day Adventist or whatever. This might hurt you a little bit because because honestly, we're 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 free. We're free. We're we're not free to do wrong. You'll see that as we go through the study. We're free to we're free to do right. But God, when God saved you, He saved you from everything. He saved you from the law. He saved you from all those things. He's got control of this. And when you say to yourself, "Oh, I got to do something else," you just put Christ back on the cross. You just said you just said um, what you did on the cross wasn't nothing. All that drama you went through it was for nothing. I I still got more that I have to do. So, so, but, but he tells them, no, you're not under the law. You're under grace. Grace is when you receive something you don't deserve. And we don't deserve none of this. Right. So, um, so, 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 you know, since all of my sins are forgiven and I'm free, can, can I do whatever I want? That, 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 that's kind of that's kind of where I want to I want to go with this. Um, the New Testament is clear that we're no longer bound by the law to please. Uh, we're not we're not bound under the law for to please God. We're under grace. We don't do things because we have to. And that's what the law does. It, 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 when you're under the law, you have to do these things. We 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 do things because we love them. I, I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not up here because, because, because you know, uh, under some law, oh, you got to do this and do. I do this. Cause I, I can go. And, uh, you guys. I don't know if you'll get this, but I can go home and, and get on that PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? And, and play some Call of Duty and all that. And I still have the same grace yeah. if I'm here or not. But, but man, I love the Lord so much that I do things. That's a good question to ask yourself. Why do you do things? Why do you come to church? Why do you why do, why do you do any of these things? Why do you do why are you doing do you do them because you love the Lord or do you do them because you're 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 you you feel like you got to or you have to do these things. See when you're when you when you're under grace, those things aren't those things don't control you anymore. Romans 6 Romans 6:13 um you don't have to go there because we're going to go there in a little while. But I just want to—I just want to—I want you to see this. Okay, then neither um, Romans six verse thirteen it says neither yield your members as instruments of righteousness unto sin, but yield yourself unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall have—I mean, for sin shall not have dominion over you. For a year, not under the law, but under grace. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in Galatians 5 8, he says, But if you're led of the Spirit, you're not under the law. So, so, so it's, it's clear in the Word of God that, that we're not under the law, we're under grace. Christ saved us and, 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 and He kept us, and we're sealed to the day of redemption. And there's nothing that can mess that up, not even you. Not even you. So, so knowing that, you know, uh, knowing that, knowing that a, a lot of Christians might say to themselves, um, all right, then, so, so, amen, I'm free. I, get, I guess I get to do what I want, right? I mean, th- I mean that's the way some Christians think. But, 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 but we're not supposed to take that freedom and take advantage of it. And we'll go, we'll go through that too. So the purpose of this lesson is, is to help us to understand what, what are our liberties and what are our perimeters. 
as a, as a child of God? Where, where, I mean, I mean, how are we to be as Christians knowing? See, because if you, if you don't, if, if you don't know those things, some, I mean, some guy's going to tell you, oh, well, you have to do this and you'll follow it. We're, we're, we're all, we all can be guilty of that. You know what I mean? The, the ones that, the ones that, um, I, I, I look at sometimes to say like, for instance, um, um, and no offense to anybody that's Asian in here, but Asian, but Asian, Asian people, they're really, they're really, uh, uh, religious, like you go to you go to the Philippines or something like that, man. You walking down the street, you you see you see statues of of of, of saints. Like 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 you see liquor stores on the corner of all these streets over here. You know what I mean? It's just it's just really religious. You know what I mean? But sometimes you can get saved and still do that thing. You know what I mean? So you, so you're still putting yourself under works. You, even though you're saved, you're going to heaven, hallelujah. But some of that, some of that stuff, you're like, oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. Man, it's, it, 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 it's, it's really bad. Americans that get saved, we don't care. You know what I mean? So maybe, maybe, this, will be, maybe this will be for y'all, but, but why do you go to church? Why do you do those things that you do? So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna figure this out, and we're going to ask everything in the, in the form of a question. Okay, then, and then we'll see what we can get out of it. The first question is, am I free to do what I want? Am I free to do what I want? Okay, then, um, um, pers- I mean, um, pers- personally, you're free. You're free to make your own choices as a, as a Christian. You really are. You know what I mean? You really are. Um, in John 8, 36, it says, for, for, uh, for if the Son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. So that's that's totally complete. That's that, you, you can't you can't get out of that. Um, uh, First Corinthians six twelve. Let's look at that one. First Corinthians six twelve. Let's look at that one. First Corinthians six verse twelve. First um, Corinthians six twelve. The Bible things. Bible says, all things are lawful unto me. You see that? We're, we're, we can do what we want. That, that's what the verse says. I'm not twisting this verse, y'all. This is what it says. He says, all things are lawful unto me, but not all things are expedient, meaning, meaning profitable. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. So, and then, and then when you see, when you see uh, what you call it, uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 23, it says the exact thing, same thing. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. So as you can see, you, I mean, if you're eternally secure in Christ Jesus, uh, man, you're going to heaven. You're, you're saved. There's, there's no way to get out of this. You're not going to hell, no matter what you do. Wow, man, that's a deep one. I, I, I just, I, I think, I hope I didn't lose no subscribers for pastor, cause, cause that, cause, cause that, cause, cause, cause that one hurts. You mean I can't do anything? No, Christ did it already. The Bible says in 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 uh, Galatians two sixteen, it says, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. See, it's not works; it's by faith. Even we. We have believed in Jesus that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For the, by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. See, so, so it's not what you do. It's what he did. No, I got to do something. Okay, you want to do something? Then you're putting yourself back under the law. You're putting yourself back. In, you're saying, Christ, I don't need you. I got it. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Uh, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. We know that one. For by grace are you saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Isn't that, isn't that crazy how God put that in there? Not of works. You know why he put that in there? Because some of y'all righteous people will think, you know, God will bring you and say, why should I let you in? And you'll be like, oh, well, you know. I have this. I have that old lady across the street. You know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? I, I fed a little cat when it was hungry. You know what I mean? I did, I did some good works. You know what I mean? And God goes, "No, that's the wrong answer." You know what I mean? That's the wrong answer. You're not. You're not saved by what you do. You're saved by what He did. It's a gift. Um, um, 
Titus, Titus 3, 5. Titus 3, 5. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saves us. So, so, so I, know, I, know it sounds, I know it sounds hard for, for some to say, no, well, I got to do something. You know what? If you're, do, if you're doing works, if you're doing works because you love him, that's the right thing to do. But, but it's not going to change you one way or the other. But if you're doing it because you have to and stuff like that, man, you're still in bondage. I, I hope, I hope, I hope y'all come to church. You know what I mean? I see y'all here and, and, and attentive. You know what I mean? Come to, I hope y'all are coming because you want to be here. Not like, oh man, here we go. You're like, yeah, I get to go to church, man. Get some over. I mean, go, go to work, get some overtime, and then Sunday comes like, oh man, I'm sick or whatever. You know what I mean? We, we should, we should, we should have a heart to, to not only to serve God but to love Him and do what He, do what He wants us to do out of love. So we're not, we're not bound, we're not bound by the Old Testament law. We're bound, we're, 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 we're bound by what God wants us to do, and and, and that's a, and that's a great thing. Okay, then, so, so are we free to do what we want? Yeah. However, however, the, 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 the liberty that, that Christ gives you is not a license to sin and do what you want. You know what I mean? I, I, I was reading this commentary. Ruckman, Ruckman had, man, he had a good thought on this. I never even thought about it. But he, said, he says well, liberty, uh, liberty is, is when you have the freedom to do what you want. A license, I mean, uh, do what you want that's right. A license is something that you get to, to, to give you okay to do wrong. You know what I mean? Like a license to drink and license to, you know, now they got license for pot and stuff like that. Like, like, like pot has changed through all these years. This has gotten people all messed up and stupid and, and, and messed up a lot of minds. But, oh, now I got a license. So now I got a license to be stupid. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't, you know, license to drink. You know what I mean? What does it say? Like that Budweiser? It's, it doesn't really make you wiser. They, they, should call it, they should call it Bud Stupid. You know what I mean? But 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 it, but <laughs> your 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 liberty your your liberty is not to be used to feed your sinful flesh. That that's that's kind of where I was going with it. Look at look at look at Romans six twelve. Romans six twelve. Okay, look at look at look at Romans six twelve. Okay, amen, amen. Okay, Romans 6, 12. It, it, it's, it, uh, the Word of God says, Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that you shall obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. And all this stuff should be because you want to. Right. This, is, this, this, is, this is no command to make you do anything. You, 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 have, you, have, you have your freedom. You have your liberties. But, but, but wouldn't it be better if you, if you did right for the Lord? Yeah. Amen. Verse 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For you are not under the law, but under grace. Verse 15, what then? I like, how, I like how Paul does that. He'd be like, what then? You know what I mean? Like, what? No, your body's a temple of the Holy Ghost. I, like, I don't know. I think that, that sounds like my language right there. Somebody tell me something, I'd be like, what? <laughs> he, he, said, he says, what then? Shall we sin because we're not under the law but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourself servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether sin unto death or obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were servants of sin. That should be your old life. But ye have obeyed from the heart the form of doctrine which, deli which was delivered unto you. That's when you got saved. You got that, you, you got the, that, that gospel. Being made free from sin, Ye become servants of righteousness. So, so, so we're not supposed to use our liberty to, to feed our nasty, stinking, wicked flesh. You know what I mean? And, 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 and some of us know what that means. Uh, 1 Peter 2.16, it says, as free, 
That's free. We're free. But not using your liberty as a cloak of maliciousness, but as service of God. See, I mean, I mean, I mean, he, God, see, that just shows you how God knows us. Because he tells us, yeah, you're free. You're like, all right, let's party. And he's like, no, no. You, you, wait, wait, let me start over. No, let, let's, let's not use your liberty as a cloak of maliciousness. Wow. But as service of God. So, 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 it, 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 and picture this, before you, before you got saved, we were freed. In, I mean, our, our, we, were bondage, we were in bondage to sin. That's all we knew. That's all we could do. So when you got saved and that spirit of God came in you, it gave you the opportunity to do those things that are right. See what I'm saying? So that's not, it's not, God's not putting you in a position to do wrong. The Bible says he, he doesn't tempt any of evil. You know what I mean? Every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and entice. You know what I mean? So, so God's not trying to set you up to do wrong. He's always trying to set you up to do right. Amen, amen. All right, then, so let's, 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 look at the, let's look at the next question. Okay, next question. How... How is um, how does how does my freedom affect me personally? You know, what I mean, we got this freedom. How does how, how, how should it affect us personally? OK, then um, we're and as we saw, we're free to make our own choices. But if you choose sin, we, 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 we need to suffer those consequences of, 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 of um, sin. Okay, and, and, and this is what we suffer when we, when, when we choose to just say, forget what everybody says. I'm going to do what I want. You know what I mean? You know what's so weird? You know, you, you think of backslidden Christians and certain people like that. You know, these people are going to die and they're going to be like, oh, man, I should have did right and, and, and all this stuff. And they're going to die and they're going to they're going to enter into God's glory. You know what I mean? I know y'all don't like it because y'all self-righteous and y'all think, oh, well, they should be like me to get in. You know what I mean? Well, you know, I'm sorry to, to hurt your feelings. You know what I mean? The, the, he, that's who he lets. He lets, hey, he saved. Whoever, whoever trusted the Lord Jesus Christ is saved. Okay? And if they fail, I mean, they fail. But if, the, but if they do good, they do good. It depends on your heart and how much you love God. That's what, that, that's what it depends on. But, but here's one of the, the consequences. You won't. You will not bear spiritual fruit. You you, you won't. You, you won't bear spiritual fruit if you're if you're living in the flesh and and, and you're doing what you want to do. Um, for Second Peter, Second uh, uh, Peter chapter one. Yeah, y'all could go to this one. This is a good one. Um, uh, Second Peter one, um, verse. We'll start. We'll start at verse one. Second Peter one, verse one, he says, he says, Simon Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ to them that obtain like precious faith with us. Hey, are y'all in, y'all in on this one? He, he, he's talking to y'all. If y'all, y'all obtain like precious faith, we, 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 we're in, right? So this is talking to us. Um, Precious faith through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Um, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things which pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding and exceeding great and precious promises. By these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption in the world uh, through lust. Man, there's so much there. I, I can't mess with that book. Man, isn't that rich? And we're, 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 man, we're in, we're not only in, but we get, we get stuff. We're partakers of the divine nature. Man, that's good stuff. Um, verse five, and besides all this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge and to knowledge temperance and to uh, temperance patience and to patience godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness charity. So that, that's that's kind of like the fruits of the spirit in, in, in Galatians five right there. That's that, that's what that's basically what that is. And and he says if you have all these things, look at look at verse eight. He says for if these things be in you and abound, they make you neither. Uh, 
that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the Lord uh, in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, so if if you're living for God and you're doing those things for God, you'll bear fruit. Okay, but if you don't, you, you, you're not going to bear fruit. Verse 9, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath what? Forgotten that they were purged from their old sins. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad he put that there. You know, he didn't say, he didn't say if you lack these things, you're not saved and you're going to hell. He said you're forgotten. That you are purged from your own sins. See, so said that's probably some of the problem with a lot of people. They don't bear they don't bear fruit because they don't realize that God really did a work in them. And they're not happy about it. But but I'm telling you, if if, if you love the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll bear fruit. You'll, you'll bear some fruit, you know what I mean? And I'm not talking about winning 10,000 souls to Christ, but you'll be a, you can be an example to somebody at work, all kinds of things, right? But, but the, so the first thing is you will not bear fruit. The second one is God will chasten you as a son. And, um, Hebrews 12, 5, he said, it says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord. Neither faint would thou rebuke to him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom, whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is, is he whom the Father chasteneth not? So, so if you're, I mean, if you're saved in this room, you're a child of God. You're not a child of wrath. You're not a child of the devil. You're, he's, he's dealing with you. He's not going to slap you down and say, all right, you blew it. Off to the uh, fiery pitch you go. No, no, no. He's, he's treating you like a parent. And which he is. He's our parent. He's going to look at you to shake his head like, 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 the, like, like Jesus did the disciples. You know how many times he just shook his head? He goes, man, these guys don't get it, man. You know what I mean? He, he does the same thing to us. He does the same thing to us. When we, when we sin, he, he's going to chasten us. Um, uh, verse, verse 8. But if, but if ye be without chastisement, where, where are all partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. See, those are the lost. Those are the lost people. You're, I mean, if God's not chastening you, then I don't know. He, he, he chases those he loves. And, and, and it seems like a parent. When you're chasing your kids, you don't love them. I know I got quiet on that one, you know what I mean? Because because we're in a we're we're in a generation where you can't do where you don't want to touch your kids and stuff like that. But 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 man, I'm glad I'm glad I I'm glad I was in a generation where I got spanked, man. Man, I got work, boy. It taught me even today. I I, I look at older folks and they and I respect them. I'm like, yes, sir, yes, sir. And you're like, bro, you're 50. It's like I, I don't know, man. It, I guess I got brainwashed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know what it is, but but God, that's how God does it. If God God doesn't chase you for your sin. Man, you better be scared. You better be scared if he does absolutely nothing. You know what I mean? Not saying you're not saved. I'm just saying, man, you don't, you don't want to get to that point where he just says, you know what? I'm done with this guy. You know what I mean? He'll, he'll, chase, you. he'll, he'll chase you. Amen. Um, the, the first one, God will, uh, you will not bear fruit. God will chase you as a son. Um, the third one is God will, God will allow you to reap what you've sown. Right? Uh, Galatians 6, 7, and 8. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Sometimes you think, all right, I did it. I got away with it. I did it. I got away with it. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, you, just, you don't even care if you got away with it or not. You just, you'll, you'll just keep doing it. Bible says that you're going to reap what you sow. And if you think that, that you made it through and, and, and nothing happened to you, you better, it, it, it keeps going. It might happen to one of your kids. It might, it might happen to somebody else. I'm not trying to throw nothing bad, but I'm just saying, don't think that you got away with something and, 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 God, and you play God for a fool. You'll never play him for a fool. You'll never play him for a fool. Look at this one. This is a good one. You can go to this one. What is it? Job. Uh, where, where we at? Where we at? We what you saw. Yeah, Job 13. Check out, check out Job 13. This is a good verse. Man. This one blows me away right here. Okay, then um, Job 13. Um, 
uh, verse, verse 8, starting at verse 8, Job 13, verse 8. It says, it says, will ye accept his, accept his person? Will ye contend for God? Is it, is it good that, that he should search you out? For as one mocketh another, do ye mock him? He will surely prove you. If you secretly ex accept persons, man, I'm going to tell you guys something. You, you, can, you can fool whoever you want, but you cannot fool God. You know what we do sometimes? We think, we look at each other, and we say, oh, I can play all these guys. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, you know what I mean? And, you hide, and you'll hide all your secret sins, all that stuff, and say, all right, nobody knows. But, but we always fail to realize that God is watching you. God knows. <laughs> wow, that's crazy, huh? God knows what's going on. Um, uh, of, of, of Psalm, thank you. I know, man. I, every time, every time I come behind here, the, the, it gets it gets like it get like get like um like forty degrees hotter. <laughs> I know it's not y'all. It's, it's just it's just pulpit. Yeah, amen. <laughs> Psalm 44, uh, 21, he says, he says, shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I don't know you. I don't know you. You don't know me either. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can play y'all all day long. You can play me. But I'm telling you, you can't play God. He sees everything. He sees everything. For, uh, Jeremiah 17, 10, he, it, says, it says, I the Lord, I search the hearts. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. See, God knows everything about you, man. There's a wait. Hold on. Uh, here, here. I got. I got. I didn't. I didn't put this one in. I didn't put this one in. But this is a good one too. Uh, Hebrew, Hebrews four. Hebrews four twelve. Hebrews four twelve. This is this is a good one. This would this would this would tell you how much the book knows you. This is the word of God. It knows all about. You. That's why a lot of people don't read the book because 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 they don't want to be exposed. Look at this. Look at it. But you exposed anyway. No matter what you do, really. Okay. Then um um verse uh, uh four twelve. He says, "For the word of God is quick, meaning alive." And powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the divided asunder of the soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Right? Look at the, look at thirteen. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in the sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes unto the eyes of Him with whom, with whom we have to do. Oh man, y'all worried about y'all worried about what your neighbor thinks. Y'all worried about what your members think. You know what I mean? Y'all trying to hide this. You can't hide nothing from God. He, he he's got it. He's got it all. He's got it all covered. You know what I mean? And fi and, and finally, um, 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 you you'll not bear fruit. God will chase the other son. You God will God will allow you to reap what you've sown. And the last one is your fellowship with uh, with God and confidence in prayer will be interrupted. Maybe, maybe maybe a lot of times we don't get those prayers answers because we we're, we're not doing what we're suppo supposed to do. We're not doing what we're supposed to do. Um, and and um, in Psalm 66, verse 18, uh, the Bible says, If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. That, that's, 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 a, that's a scary thing, you know what I mean? You know, we got, we got, our, little, we got, we got our little Zoom group, not a Zoom group, but we got our little WhatsApp group, man. We, and, and, man, prayers be popping up all day long, all day long. You know what I mean? But, you know, I hope, hope y'all that, that, are, that are saying, hey, I'm praying for you, y'all got your life right. Because cause, 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 cause God ain't going to hear that thing. He, he won't. Well, that's what the Bible says. I, I'm just saying what, what he said. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, Isaiah 59, 1. The Bible says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save. Neither is his ear heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God and your sins. Uh, and your sins have hid his face from you and that he will not hear. 
So, 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 you know, we got to make sure our life is right. If we want to get with the Lord, man, I mean, I mean, that makes sense, though. If, you, if, 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 you're, if you're in sin and all that stuff and, and you throw one of those Jeremiah cries for something you did, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's not cool. That's not cool. And he, he's not going to hear it. Uh, Proverbs 15, 29, he says, the Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Amen, amen, amen. Here's something, here's something to think about. Okay, then God is going to God is going to use you uh, for uh, for good or for bad. Okay, it, it, you can be a vessel of honor or you can be a vessel of wrath or whatever. And God's going to use you one way or the other. You say, how, how's he going to do that? Well, he, he, he can use you as an example. You know, what I mean, there's so many. Uh, book, I mean, in the word of God, there's so many examples of what not to do. And there's so many examples of what to do. You know what I mean? What, what side do you want to be on? You know what I'm saying? Um, Titus, I mean, first, 2 Timothy 2.20 says, But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself of these, he shall be a vessel, vessel of honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. See, you want to be, you want to be on the example side of, okay, this is, God says, this is how I want you to be. You don't want to be, you don't want to be the vessel of dishonor, where, where God has to use you as an example. You know what I mean? Now, now remember, what's our subject here? Liberty. The, how, how, I mean, as saved people, uh, uh, how, we're, how we're supposed to live and how, how we're supposed to live our lives as Christians. Okay, then so, so we, 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 saw, we saw how, um, um, we saw the question, are we free to do what we want? Yep. However, there's consequences, right? Um, how, how should freedom affect me for personally? Okay, we went through that. And then how, now, now we're going to look at how does, how does um, a freedom affect those, uh, your freedom affect those around you? Okay, then now, now um, your life should be a testimony to the Lord Jesus Christ. It should be something good for other people to see. Okay, then, and, and, we, and for sake of time, we won't go through this, but this is a really good one. Romans, Romans, um, Romans 14. Romans 14, Romans 14 says that, that we have the right to do, uh, we, I mean, we shouldn't have people judge us for the things we do, like the days, the way we eat, the way we think, certain things. Things like that. We shouldn't let people. We shouldn't let people judge that. If uh, he didn't regard the day to the Lord, regard it. He didn't regard not the day to the Lord. He did not regard it. Let them all be fully persuaded in their own minds. Stuff like that. That's this is this is one of pastors. Um, 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 prominent verses to help us deal with each other. You know what I'm saying? And it's a good one. Man. This is, this, if a lot of pastors figured this out, like ours have, they, they, they would have a better control of a church. You know what I mean? You wouldn't have a bunch of uh, people thinking they're better than each other and doubting other people because of the way they are. You know what I mean? I'm not into days. I'm not into holidays and all that stuff. I'm not even into birthdays. You know what I mean? And, it, and it's not because of anything spiritual or not. It's just because I was, I, I was a ghetto kid, man. I was raising a project. We didn't have Christmas and, 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 and birthdays and stuff like that. We had what we had, but whatever. But my wife, she loves holidays. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not gonna down. I'm not gonna down her because you know. You know, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, we well, we kind of compromise on stuff like like Christmas. You know, we'll, we'll have a tree one year. We'll have a tree. You know, we'll, we we skip years on the trees and stuff. I don't like that thing, but she does. So you know what I mean? But that that's not downing her or me. That's not down her or me. That's how you, that's how you, that's how, as Christians, that's how we deal with each other. We tolerate some things, you know what I'm saying? But, 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 um, but the biggest, but the biggest part that you should know is, is, um, um, does, does what you do cause another person to stumble? That's right. Yeah. That, 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 that's, that's the key to it. Romans 14 verse 13 Okay, we, we can check that one out. Romans 14, verse 13. And if you can get ahead of the game, um, Romans 14, verse 13, um, uh, get, get, get 1 Corinthians 8, 
uh, 9, 9 through 13 too, if you, if, you can, if you can grab both of those. Okay, then um, it, 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 uh, Romans 14 verse 13. He says, he says let, us, let us not judge, let me start over. Let us not therefore judge one any, I mean one another anymore, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way, right? So, so okay, I got the liberty to do what I want, but how does it affect another Christian? How does it affect another person? How does it affect a new believer in Christ? Okay, then, yeah, all right, amen, we led him to the Lord and stuff like that, but it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. We're supposed to bring them up in the nurture and abolition of the Lord. And, and some of the things that you think that, 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 that is okay might not be good for that Christian. Some of the, sh some of the shows you might watch or some of those things. I, I, I was talking about this last night. I kind of trip out how we hit hard and heavy on music. We beat music down. We understand that music is, all kinds of music is not good for you. But we never say nothing about TV shows and, and Netflix and stuff like that. I, I hate Netflix. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. After they had them little, after they had them little girls dancing all lewd and stuff like that, and, they, and everybody was loving that. So I said, man, this is wicked, man. I'm done. Right. You, you know what I mean? That was my final straw, man. How many of y'all got rid of y'all after that? How many of y'all brought y'all back in? Wow, man. That, 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 just show, that just showed. But that's just that's my conviction, not yours. Don't worry about that. That was, that was that's that's my that's my issue. <laughs> y'all can y'all can do it if y'all want. But there's a consequence. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Amen. Um, but he said in verse 14, he says, I know and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is um, there is nothing unclean of his Self. But to him that esteem it to be unclean, uh, uh, esteem anything to be unclean, to him is unclean. But if for thy brother be grieved by, uh, with thy me, thou walkest not charitably. Destroy, uh, destroy not him with thy meat for whom Christ died. Ooh. So yeah, your, yeah, your liberty is like, yeah, I can do what I want, but how is it affecting this young brother in Christ or sister? You know what I mean? You got to be concerned about that. First Corinthians 8 verse 9, it says, take heed lest by any means this liberty of yours, there's that word again, this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. You, you, you see that? Uh, verse 10, if any man see thee, which, um, let me start over. For if, for if any man, let me put on these glasses. I think, yeah, I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing my vision real quick. Let me, let me get this. Let me get this. Thank y'all for hanging in there with me. Okay. Then, um, verse 10, for if any man see thee, which hath knowledge, sit at meat at the idol's temple, shall, sh um, shall not the conscience of him uh, which is weak, be emboldened to eat those things which are offered to idols. And he's just talking about food, but it could be, it could be you could put anything in this. But, um, and through, through thy knowledge shall the weak brother perish. And that don't mean he's lost or going to hell or anything. That just means he's going to backslide. Okay, the weak brother, uh, weak brother perish for whom Christ died. When, but when ye sin, so against the brethren and wound their weak conscience, ye sin against Christ. Ooh, you think you thinking you're you're okay and and all that stuff, and you, but 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 yet you're you're causing a brother to stumble. It says you sin against Christ. Wait, I'm free to do what I want. Yeah, but there's a consequence. See what I'm saying? We really need to watch out for that. We um, look at look at uh, verse thirteen. He said, "Wherefore, if I make my brother to offend, I will eat no flesh while the world standeth, lest I make my brother to offend." Wow, that's yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, amen, brother. That that that's 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 good stuff, man. How 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 are we around? Not just our brethren. But how are we around uh, uh, around uh, around any any saved? That's why it's so critical when you when the person gets saved, man. You got to reel them in because the spirit of God is in them. They're babes in Christ. Bible calls them babes in Christ. Bible says as newborn babes desire this desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow. You you don't know anything. 
When you, when you first get saved, all you know is Jesus loves me. This I know for the Bible tells me so. That's it. That's all you know. But, 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 but as a Christian, we're supposed to grow them along. Amen. 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 Um, let me, let me, uh, let me, let me move a little bit. Let me, let me move a little bit ahead. Um, okay. Then so, 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 so we, so we get that. Okay. Then, um, uh, how about th- how about this one? Um, y- we're supposed to have a good testimony, both with the lost and with the saved. Okay, then we're supposed to have that because because we because the object of the game is especially with the lost, we're supposed to get them saved. Okay, then um, for um, first, first Corinthians uh, ten thirty one. It says, it says, it says, whether therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Uh, give none offense, neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of God. You see the three races? I know that's not part of the lesson, but that's, that's, that's the only races. You got Jews, you got Gentiles, you got the church of God. We're the church of God. The, the Gentiles is the lost and the Jews are the Jews. So, so, you know what I mean? Everybody's trying to say all these races and stuff. No, we're all, we're all one. We're all one. We're all one family. But um, but uh, verse 33, he said, even as I please all men in all things, seeking not my own profit, but the profit of many that they may be saved. See, you can lead some, you can literally lead somebody to Christ by just uh, by just a good testimony. You know what I mean? So we need to be a good testimony, um, not not just not just to the not just to the uh, saved. Okay, I got. Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that. But 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 you want to be a good testimony to the saved and watch your life, but also to the lost. Col- uh, Colossians four. What's, am I on the right side? I'm on the right side. Um, right there you go. I'm down, we're down here to the to the lost. Um, uh, Colossians 4, 5, it says, walk in wisdom toward them that are without. That means, that means the lost out in the world, re- redeeming the time. For, uh, 1 Timothy 3, 7, he says, moreover, he must have a good report to them that are without, lest he fall in the reproach and the snare of the devil. Hey, that's a good question. What do the lost think about you? You know what I mean? You're saved, you're on your way to heaven, you're a Christian. What do they think about you? They don't have to think, oh, you're a holy Joe and all that. I get that. But what do they think about you as a person? Are you, are, are you unapproachable? Are you, are, you, are you disgruntled at work? You know what I mean? Do you complain with them? You know, do you come in late? <laughs> do you come in late at work? You know what I mean? I try to make it a habit of not saying me. I'm just, uh, I just, just my conviction. I'm not trying to throw it on y'all, but I make sure I'm, a, I'm at work an hour early. And, and, and when it's time to clock out, I'm not standing by the time clock. I wait exactly the time and then I'll leave my area. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not standing at the, the time clock at a line, you know, 10 minutes before the time and stuff like that. That's a bad testimony for a Christian. I know you guys don't think that maybe, but I. I do, and 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 and, it, and you you'll be a, you'll be a better test testimony when you do that. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, but the 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 purpose the purpose is 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 to lead people to Christ. That that's how we do it. I know I, I know I get that. I, I, I was waiting for that one. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. That's that, that's good. That's good. Isn't this how we're supposed to do it? We're supposed to, we're supposed to lead people to Christ by by our testimony, not our testimony. Our, our, our testimony. Don't fake it. Be 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 real. Be real about who you are. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, then la- last one. Last one. Um, uh, I think I missed. I, I think I missed a really good verse. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, I think. I, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just move on. Num- number five. Number five. Number five. Last question. Okay. Then, um, what are my bounds? What are the bounds of my liberty? Okay, and you and, and you saying what what do you what do you mean by that? There are many gray areas, and we kind of talked about a bunch of them. You know what I mean? There's a lot of gray areas, but what does I mean? I mean, um, when you have these gray areas where you're not sure of something, you, you might have to ask yourself a few questions. One one question you should you should ask is, Am I being brought under the power of something? Um, that's controlling my life. 
You know what I mean? And it don't have to be nothing bad. It could be video games. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I mean, video games will, will hook, uh, hook you to where you can't do nothing. It's not a sin. No, but you know what I mean? Anything that, that you take away from your time with the Lord, is, 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 it, it, could, it, could be, it could be a sin. You know what I mean? You just saw that verse where he said that if, you, if you're doing something that, that makes a brother stumble, you're sinning against Christ. So that could be anything. You know what I mean? But, but, but he says he said in uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 12, um, all things are lawful for me, but not all things are expedient. All things are lawful um, uh, for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. We, we, uh, with the Holy Spirit in you, you should, you should have the power to fight a habit or anything. When I was always taught by my old pastor, Pastor Steve Andrus, he, ta- he, he taught me that if you, I mean, if, it, it, um, you, you'll know a sin by the fruit it produces. So like, for instance, smoking. Smoking's not in the Bible, right? It's, uh, smoke is not in the Bible, but what does it do to you? See, see what I'm saying? And you can put that, you can put that on anything. What is, what is the, the video games? What does it do to you? It, it warps your mind, gets you desensitized to, to murder and, and all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? And it takes your mind off of the things of God. You know what I mean? And, 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 and I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not a video guy either. So maybe I'm hitting somebody's thing. I, I, hope I, I hope. You know. I don't know. I don't know. You see how? You see how liberty is. We 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 have to we have to understand it in our own hearts. If it's hidden, you then take it. If it's not, then then pass it to the one. Pass it. Double up to uh, get pass it to somebody else. You know what I mean? But the, but the only part of person that should have power over us is the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Then. And and that's Philippians 3, 1 through, through 9 or through 10. But, but I'll just read, I'll just read the, this part right here, uh, verse 8. He says, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus our Lord. And, and, and I've suffered the loss of all things that I, and do count them but dung that I may win Christ and be found in him. Not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that is of the faith of Christ, the righteousness of God, which is by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. See, you want to have you want you you want to you want to have that type of power on you. The Lord Jesus Christ's power, conformable, conformable. It's it's um, it's uh, ha- having some similar external form or shape, resembling, re- resembling as the. Um, uh, let me let me see. Uh, yeah, um, having a form or shape resembling the, per- the uh, person, having the same similar manners, opinions, or moral qualities. So, so we want to, so, so we want to be more like Christ. Okay, then um, let me, let me. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit ahead. I'm sorry, guys. Um, cause I, cause, it, cause I'm, I know my time is short. Um. Okay, here's the question. Does, it, uh, does this edify others or myself? And we, we saw that verse, all things are lawful for me, but, but all things edify not. So you, you have the right to do what you want, but, but, but does it edify? We, 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 need to watch, we need to watch those things that will hurt the gospel of Christ. We need to, we need to watch those things. Um, verse, um, let me see. Uh, um, uh, 1 Corinthians 9, 2, it says, For if others, if others be partakers of this power over you, are ye not rather? Nevertheless, we have not used this power, but suffer all things, lest we should hinder the gospel of Christ. All right, hinder, to stop, to interrupt, to obstruct, to impede, or prevent from moving forward by any means. So, so, so those, so, so if you, if, if, if we're not living like we're supposed to and, and being an example to others, we hinder the gospel. We hinder the gospel. And here's two ways we can hinder it. One way we hinder the gospel is if we don't tell it. Yeah. Right? My, my favorite verse, man, for he had made him to be sin for us 
who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. We're, 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 we're literally righteous because of Christ. And when we stand before God, he's going to look at us and, and you're going to be like, oh, man, I did this and that. He's going to be like, what? What? <laughs> what you talking about, man? Get up in here, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. We're, we're going to be righteous in his sight. You know what I'm saying? Of the, of, of, uh, Romans 5, 6, he says, he says, for when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for for us much more than being justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him amen. we're gonna yeah, amen brother we're gonna get we're, we're, we're saved from wrath through Jesus Christ and, and, and it's the greatest thing in the world now let me ask you a question how many of y'all uh, how many of y'all saved do y'all do do yeah. remember the time amen, amen. Do you remember the time when you, when you when the, when you trusted the Lord Jesus Christ and got saved? Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. So 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 I, I, I mean I, I mean have you told anybody that lately? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? So so if you're not, you're hindering the gospel. Amen. You need to tell people what happened to you. Amen. 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 And, no, amen. and number number two is is um, we hinder the gospel when we don't live it. Yeah, when we don't live it. Um, um, 2 Corinthians 3, verse 2, he says, Ye are our epistles written in our hearts. This is a good verse. This is a good verse. Ye are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men. That's pretty cool. You know what an epistle is? It's a letter. Okay? And he says, you are our epistle. Written in our hearts, so 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 you know. When, without you even opening your mouth, people should know the, the 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 book. The Bible should be written in your heart, and people should look and say, "Yeah, that guy, that person's a Christian." I don't even have to. I don't even have to ask. I already I already see it. You know what I mean? So what what epistle are they looking at in your life? Maybe maybe Ephesians. Do, do people see Ephesians in you? You know what I mean? Or do they see 1 Corinthians? <laughs> amen, amen, right, right. What, 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 because what, you're, the, you're the most Bible anybody's going to get. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so your life should, should show that. Um, 1 Peter 3.1, this is, this is a good one. I'm, I'm going to, I'll hit this one. I'll hit this one. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to hit this one and I'll go, I'll go one. One more verse and then I'm done, brother. I'm, all right, then I'm done. I'm done after that. Hey, thank y'all for hearing me out. This is I'm not much I'm not much on the teacher, but Pastor Pastor, you know, he's giving me a shot at this, so I'm 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 trying to do right. I'm trying to do right. All right, then, Amen. But this is a good one. Now this now this is out of context, but not really. Um, uh, First Peter three one. It says, "Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection unto your own husbands, that if." If any obey not the word, they, they, um, they also, without the word, be won by the conversation of the wives. You know, you know, what, that, you know what that conversation is? It's lifestyle. Okay, you got the, some verses in there where conversation means talking, but this means a lifestyle. And he's saying without the word, they could be won. By the conversation of the wife. So what are, you, what are you saying? You got a lost husband. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm that testimony. I was a, I was a lost husband. To, my wife was saved. She she did she messed up and 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 married out of out of wet. You know what I mean? Out of what do you call that? Uh, unequally yoked. You know what I mean? So yeah, she bad girl, bad girl. But God 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 blessed her because I got saved. But what? How did I get saved by her testimony? Because I was really bad. I was a bad husband. I was a bad, un I was unsaved, I was bad. Y'all would, y'all would not like me, but y'all probably don't like me anyway. But, <laughs> but, but, but the, but the whole point, the whole point is, is that I watched her, and I was so mean to her, and I was so bad to her, and she just, she just. She just had grace. She tolerated every wicked thing I did. And, 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 and now that I'm older than the Lord, I realized she was even praying for me. She had a prayer list, prayer, prayer chain going. Pray for my husband to get saved. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. And I got saved through, through her 
conversation. You, you see what I'm saying? So, so it's the same with the, it's the same with us. We're supposed to. I mean, if you can't speak, at least act. <laughs> at least act a part. You know what I mean? If you can't open your mouth, you know what I mean? You can you you can do this. Um, uh, 1 Corinthians nine fourteen. He says, "Even so, the Lord." Ordain that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel. Wow, man. So, 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 so we have no excuse, huh? You say, oh, I can't do that. You can live it. I mean, if you, if you believe it, you should, right? Right? Um, um, can I bless you with a clear conscience? Uh, okay, then here, here, here's, one, here's a good question. Um, if the Lord returned at this moment, would I be ashamed? But whatever, whatever, whatever you're doing at that time, would, would you be ashamed? He, in, in 1 John 2, 28, he says, And little children abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Man, that, hey, hey, when we stand before God, we, I mean, when, when, when he comes to get us, we, I, hope, I hope y'all don't get caught in something y'all ain't supposed to be doing, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? He know about it anyway, but, but man, imagine you getting caught up, man. You, you stub your toe, and you get ready to cuss, and you're like, oh, boom, and there, there's the Lord, and you, and you say the word, and he's looking at you like, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Just, just watch your testimony. Um, uh, would it, would it, would it, would it cause a brother to stumble if he saw me? And we, 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 we checked that one out already. Um, finally, finally, the last question: Would it be, would, would it be cause for a lost person to reject the Lord Jesus Christ? And and we, and, and we hit that one too. We want to make sure we're an example to not just the people in here, but the people out there. We want to be a light that shines in a dark place. Amen, amen. The last verse and then we're done. Okay, then 1 Corinthians 10, 13. I mean, 10, 31. 10, 31. Okay, then it says, it says, uh, whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do it all to the glory of God. Give none offense, neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of God. Even as I, I mean, even as I please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many, that many be saved. Amen. Yeah, amen, amen. So we want to, we want to be an example, not just to our church, but but just to the world and and, and all those things. All right, then I hope I hope y'all got a, I hope y'all got a blessing a blessing out of that. Amen. Um, Lord Jesus, thank you for um, just this time. And, and Lord, um, I, pray, I pray that I was um, understandable. Um, I, I, I just thank you for this time. And I, and I, and I pray for our pastor. I, I, just, uh, I just pray that, that, that you're blessing him as well while he's out and about. Um, I, I, I love you, Lord, and I, and I just can't wait to see you. Thank you for everything you do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.